let me ask you this, Alan. Um, okay. What's if you were given the keys to the Fantastic Four movie? Um, what would you be doing with it? Okay. Well, let's start with your Doctor Doom. Okay. Well, I never really thought about my Doctor Doom. I mean, okay, John, so you do your Fantastic Four, and I'll think Don about Carlo my Fantastic Esposito Four. Carlo Esposito would be a good choice. Um, I think we've also discussed Vince Vaughn as a Doctor Doom, which wouldn't be too bad. We've discussed and, it in somewhere. MCU, I, in the MCU, yeah, okay. Yeah, we've, we've discussed it somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to harken back to, okay, the, our very first conversation. The second episode of Brain Digestion, topic of discussion was Fantastic Four in the MCU. What would happen? How they'd be introduced? We discussed our fan cast, or at least I, I brought my fan cast to the table. I still stand by that fan cast. I know some people have argued with me and said, oh, they're too old to be, because they want them to be young. And I think you're, you're part, of that, uh, part of that party where you want them to be young. But I just feel like these actors would embody these roles so well. Okay, first and foremost, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. And I remember your reaction when I said this to you the first time. <laughs> I'm going to see if I get this reaction again, because I don't know if you remember what I said. <laughs> David Schwimmer. <laughs> That wasn't the yeah, same you can't reaction. tell, but I left the screen because I completely just, this is what? That, that wasn't the same reaction, but it was just as So weird. let me guess, let me guess, your, your Invisible Woman slash Sue Storm's Jennifer Anderson? Negatory. <laughs> let me say that again. Negatory. <laughs> okay. David Schwimmer? David Schwimmer. I mean, I mean, he's a good actor. I'm not trying to say he's not. He's a really good actor. Yes. Okay, so Ross Geller. I mean, the role that everybody knows from him, he could play anybody else. Or Band of Brothers. Oh. Did anyone ever watch Band of Brothers? He was ridiculously oh, so he, amazing. Yeah, he probably was. But I'm <laughs> saying he could play whatever role he wants for the rest of his career, and everybody will know him for Ross Geller. So mm -hmm. Ross Geller was a scientist. He was a paleontologist, specifically. Jealous. What? Oh, you're jealous. Okay. No, 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 no. He was jealous. He was a jealous guy. Ah, okay. See, yeah, he was a jealous Which Reed guy. Which Richards, Richards gets kind of yeah. jealous of Sue sometimes. Oh, well, when he's actually paying attention to her. I mean, she'd always get upset. One percent of the time. Yeah. He'd always get upset that he spent too much time in his work and didn't pay attention and is always distracted. Even when they're out on a date, he'd be distracted with some kind of science problem in his head. Mm -hmm. But, um... But yeah, and he, so he he's he's dorky, um, you know. Just half the time he spouts off things that nobody even knows what he's saying. I mean, and then Ben Grimm is always there to counter that. He's like, "Speak English, come on." Um. So yeah, I think David Schwimmer, as his role as Ross Geller, would translate very well as Reed Richards. Mm -hmm. Yes, the guy is pushing sixty. Do we want a 60-year-old playing Reed Richards? That's the thing. But the the image I have in my head for Reed Richards is, I mean, he's got that line of gray, gray hair or the line of white hair, like the classic Nick Fury does. Who's but your invisible woman? Invisible woman, Elizabeth Banks. I mean, straight up, she's a great actress for one thing. You just have to pick a great actress. And she looks like her. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't come across as shallow in my, you know, people seeing perspective. I don't know. I, what, what's shallow about that? Sue Storm is blonde-haired and pretty. Right. Like, but she needs to be more than just that. Hopefully the, when the writer comes... Well, she's also a genius. Will, yeah. Too. Well, in her own right. Right. She's not a scientist like Reed, but she's priced for street smart. Yeah. So I didn't have much on. Uh, Who's your human torch? Human torch. Okay, remember when I said put a pin in that? What did I say? Uh, what did I say? To have You're asking someone in? who has literal memory memory issues. Exactly. Memory. So so I will say it again. I said <laughs> I said any hazard doogie. Okay. Who's that? Okay. <laughs> 
Any Hauser do Doogie Hauser. Doogie Hauser MD. Who's Doogie Hauser MD, Brian? <laughs> okay, so who's your Ben Grimm then? <laughs> We're just going right over that. <laughs> Bruce Willis. He, he's he's Jersey. I mean, he's he's like seventy five. That's well. See, this is what I'm saying. Everybody argues with me that these are too old. Neil Patrick Harris is freaking almost fifty. So I don't know. I still stand by that. And if you know what, Alan, I, I will tell while, you. I applaud you for giving us your fan cast <laughs> and doing it with pride, doing it with honor, integrity. I'm very I, proud of my round of applause for Alan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> round of applause for Alan.